Check out the airships. Probably got a strong trade network going. Kinda reminds me of good old Port Breeze. We should look for a place where Lyria can rest. Me? But I feel fine. You've had a rough afternoon today. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. I know, but we're in a brand new town and I want to explore it with everyone. Well, Captain? Mm. Enjoy some time to yourselves, everyone! Yay! <laughs> Where do you guys get your energy from? <laughs> if Lyria's up for a little excursion, then I don't see the harm in it. In the meantime, I'll grab the Grand Cipher. Should be a dock around here somewhere. As for me, I'm hankering to try the local brews they got in these parts. We just got here and you already need a drink? What's with you geezers? What? I deserve a refreshing cocktail after a long hike. Ugh, you don't deserve anything. <laughs> You're all too much. Anyway, after exploring for a bit, let's meet back at that big building over there. Take a look around. I can't wait to explore. I love visiting new places for the first time. Captain, what the? say you're a real lifesaver well then see you next time it's always a pleasure ah, come again. well what do you know Sierra. <laughs> why it's Lyria and the captain the boat <laughs> you made it all the way to this item too boy you really do get around I just say I'm everywhere. Everywhere the cash flows. <laughs> <laughs> You must be the ones Ciero mentioned. Let me take a peek at your gear.
glad we know where to look if we need to sharpen our weapons. <laughs> you can say that again. Now, back to goofing off. Excuse me. today. So let's take the exploring nice and steady. And also... <laughs> welcome, welcome. I have knickknacks for all your travel needs. Which crew member would you like to call? Seems pretty chill, huh? We met on Freeman. of looking her best. I see. I still don't know anything about makeup. You're naturally pretty, but a dab here or there could bring out a whole new you. Really? Uh, I don't know if that's me at all. How about this? Next time we'll do our faces together. With Rosetta's tutoring, of course. Aren't you curious how Lyria will look, Captain? Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Maybe I can be a sophisticated lady, too. Gee, what a selection. I don't know what most of this stuff is for. Oh, brother, at least one of us is, that's for sure. Come here. Let you in on a tip I heard. Word is there's a village that runs a mining operation on a nearby island. It's got an altar dedicated to, get this, a primeval god. And when this god stirs up a wind, loads of ore gets exposed, ripe for the plucking. Then, this town takes those mined ores to make the finest jewelry. We'd be rich if we got in on the action somehow. You're catching my drift? Anyway, gonna stay put and sniff around for more info. I'll let you know what I hear. See you later, Captain. One more for the road. 
I'm headed straight for the docks, huh? He takes such good care of the Grand Cipher. Huh. Airship of that size is a first for me, but I reckon I can handle her. Uh, sorry for pushing you guys. <laughs> Shucks, it ain't nothing. I'll leave this spot empty, so go ahead and fly her in. Thanks a million. I'll get right on it. Rackham! Hi! Well, look who it is. I managed to find a place that can patch up the Grand Cipher. Just got done haggling with him. Um, I'm sorry the ship got hurt. That was my fault. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? You had nothing to do with it. But I... Look, it was a random accident. No one could have known our dragon friend would go all crazy. It's not your fault, Lyria. Yep, no one's blaming you. Captain knows best. So quit feeling guilty about it, okay? <sighs> okay. Thanks for cheering me up. There's that smile. Besides, we're in a new Skydom. Let's see some more enthusiasm, huh? Anyway, I'd better go move the Grand Cipher before anything happens to her. Go have fun. I got the ship covered. <sighs> Breeze feels almost welcoming. Like an old friend. Doing. Hi, Rosetta. Nice of you to drop by, Lyria. Come to see my part of town? Actually, I wanted to ask you how I could help the crew. Is that so? Well, I'd say there's no need to stress out about it. But I want to be useful and do my share. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think you might be overthinking this. something I can do? Let's see. Guidebooks are pretty youthful. Ever thought about writing one? Write my own guidebook? Just jot down the fun things you've seen and done. Whatever you want to share with us. Better than complaining all the time. That's like the opposite of being helpful. You're right. Okay. I'll write the best guidebook ever. I can't wait to read it. Such a refreshing breeze. That's it. Oh, it won't open.
Catalina training again. Guess old military habits die hard, huh? Hi, Catalina! What you doing? Thought I might get in some training. I once spent hours practicing my strikes. Oh, no wonder you're a master swordswoman. <laughs> Not yet, I'm afraid. Maybe I'm halfway there at best. You're no slouch either, buddy. But I wonder who's better, you or Catalina? Probably Catalina. <laughs> it's hard to say at a glance, though it might be fun to cross swords sometime. <gasps> you mean like a sparring match? I wouldn't know who to root for. Then why not both? Oh, you're right! There's no rule that says I can only pick one side. Uh, Captain, before we proceed any further, I have just one thing. Make sure to check our mastery points from time to time. Battles may begin to feel tense if we don't sharpen our skills. Interesting. Sweet. That's nice. Let's see the young bucks do this. I'll practice day and night. I mustn't fall behind our captain after all. If you're done looking around, we can start heading to the meetup spot a little early. Be interesting. Enough. 
your satisfied client. was somewhere around here, right? Are you done looking around? Not yet. Let's explore some more. Agreed. Let's take another stroll around town. We still got time to squeeze in some extra sightseeing before the others get here. Maybe we could use this. Are you done looking around? Yeah, I think I've seen everything. Same. Let's take a quick break while we wait for the others. Look, it's the Grand Cypher! Oh yeah! Rackham did say he'd bring her in for repairs. Can I tell you something? I heard what you did when I was falling off the ship. I felt so happy knowing you sprang to my rescue. We've been through a lot together. Visited new islands, met new people. It hasn't always been the safest trip. But you've always been there to protect me. I just wanted to say thank you. And since our lives are intertwined, let's make the most of our journey together. Yeah. <laughs> now my face feels a little hot. <laughs> so cool. Hmm. Doesn't it smell nice? <laughs> sure does. <laughs> mm. uh, uh. Sorry. Huh? Kept y'all waiting. Cypher's officially in the shop. Nice work. Hey. Thanks, Rackham. So, we've got time to burn, it seems. Anyone will... Uh. Forgot this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys hear that? All right, I'm off. Ahem. 
pardon my rudeness. I, uh, don't do well with lizards. Hey! I ain't no lizard! It, it can talk? I do beg your pardon. We didn't mean to startle you. And we certainly don't intend on starting any trouble. Actually, we're a crew of humble skyfarers. This is Vern. I assure you, he means no harm. If anything, he's quite the lovable dragon once you get to know him. Well, you've got it all wrong, Catalina. I'm a cool dragon. Huh. Skyfarers, you say? Oh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is... <sighs> Roland, you've got to help us. A tornado suddenly hit our village out of nowhere. A tornado? But something have angered Tempil's primal beast? Huh? Remain here in Folka. I'll handle the rest. My apologies. It seems I'm needed elsewhere, so I'm afraid this is farewell for now. Hey, wait! He sure ran off in a hurry. And I heard him say primal beast. We should follow him. <laughs> what? There are still people stuck in Tempeel! Oh, what do we do? What do we do? The altar suddenly lit up, you know? And the wind was like a whoosh! And that primeval god is not happy. Slow down, take a few deep breaths, and tell me exactly what happened. Okay, okay. I'm calm. An altar, fierce winds, and what they call a primeval god. Sound familiar? Yeah, it does. Smells fishy. It's got to be connected to Bahamut going ballistic on us. <sighs> that guy with glasses knows something we don't. Want to see if we can tag along? He could lead us to a clue. What do you think, Captain? We can't ignore people in trouble. Exacto mundo. Right then. I know what I have to do. Time to get moving. Um, excuse me. Ah, hello again. The situation is a bit out of hand, as you can see. If you need something from me, can it wait? I must leave town for a spell. Then I'll cut to the chase. Allow us to join you. Say that again? It seems you're in a predicament. Depending on the situation, we could be of help. I appreciate the offer, I really do, but... You mentioned a primal beast, right? If that's the problem, we want to lend a hand. We had our own snag as soon as we arrived in this skydom. Bet your round of drinks, whatever you're facing, has to do with us, too. Simply put, our goals are aligned. It takes two to tango, wouldn't you say? I don't know. Hmm. Though, more hands would certainly be welcome. Very well. I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yay! Anything can happen out there. You should get organized before we head out.
lead the way. You can depend on me. I compliment any bouquet. See that counter? That's where we can pick up new quests. Let's check back often, okay? Gonna need serious help fixing the tornado problem. Yes. <laughs> the ship will depart shortly. Is everyone ready? Yep, we're good to go. Good. All aboard the airship. There's no time to waste. Do your thing, autopilot. So, I bet you're wondering who I am. Mm -hmm. I work for the Church of Folka, mostly as a vicar. Call me Roland. I'm Catalina, protector of this crew. Name's Rackham. Cheers. And I'm Eo. Eugen here. Rosetta. You can call me Vern. I'm Lyria. Nice to meet you. And finally, this is our captain. Wow. I can't imagine captaining a crew at your age. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly a slouch myself. You see, I'm kind of a Mr. Fix-It, handling all the odd jobs after church. From furniture repair to marriage counseling, I can mend it all. Results guaranteed. When Roland's on the case, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Too dramatic, huh? This guy's a few apples short of a bushel. He'll hear you, dummy. Glad you're with us. High five, fix it, dude. Uh, dude? <laughs> Once again, my name is Roland. Yep, heard you the first time. Cheers, fix it, dude. But it's Roland. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>